Hey everyone, it's Matt, and today I want to showcase the top N64 games that had the biggest impact on me growing up. This list is in no particular order, and is from my own personal experiences. Some games you will most likely recognize, and others you may see as a hidden gem. I've talked about some of these games in the past, but want to do a video showcasing the ones with the biggest impact on me personally. Glover. Glover was a fun adventure game that I played so much growing up. I saw it first at a friend's house, and then getting it a few years later, it had a huge impact on me. Developed by Blitz Games and produced by Hasbro Interactive, this game was revolutionary. I love the level design and their themes. The music is incredible and I still listen to the soundtrack to this day. On a side note, when the Wii came out, I thought a Glover game would have been perfect with the hand motion controls. Both Blitz Games and the Interactive division of Hasbro are no longer companies in service, so the future of the series was always a bit of a mystery. I know somebody has the IP to it. A sequel was in development for the N64, but it was initially cancelled due to an error in purchasing too many cartridges. I hope one day we see a remaster or port of the original game to modern consoles. Battle Tanks Global Assault Battle Tanks Global Assault was an awesome action game where you can play as different types of tanks and fight during a post-apocalyptic world. Developed and published by 3DO, this game would improve on everything from its predecessor. The campaign itself was phenomenal and it offered co-op. The multiplayer battles were a lot of fun as well. This is another situation where the developers are no longer in business. The IP of this game is also a bit of a mystery. And I would also love to see this game put into modern hardware. Speaking of multiplayer, 007 Goldeneye. I first played this game just through its multiplayer at a family member's house. I remember playing the campaign for the first time a few years later and hearing that iconic first level music. Both the campaign and the multiplayer have become so iconic. I know the game has been remastered for many consoles, but it was different developers. So I hope the rare version that was originally released on the N64 does get remastered for either the Xbox or the Nintendo Switch. Top Gear Rally Top Gear Rally is a hidden gem that definitely needs to get more recognition. This was one of my first racing games that I still love to this day. You go through racing in a coastline, a jungle, a desert, a mountain, and once you beat the game, you get to explore a strip mine. The music for this game has some of the best racing soundtracks I've ever heard. Composer Barry Leach created an amazing electronic soundtrack that really gets you into the game. Barry, if you're watching this, you made one of the best racing soundtracks of all time. Developed by Boss Studios and published by Midway, this is another situation where both the developer and publisher are no longer companies. Another shame, and I hope one day this can end up somewhere like the Nintendo Switch Online N64 catalog. Super Mario 64 Super Mario 64 was the first N64 game ever played when we got it for Christmas many years ago. I got it when the entire family got the console for Christmas, I knew from there I would love the console. From the iconic music and levels, Mario 64 is considered to be one of the best games on the console, and for good reason. There's not too much more to say about this game, other than the iconic music, level design, gameplay itself. It's no wonder why it's considered by many one of the best Mario games ever made. The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask I remember hearing about this game being a direct sequel to Ocarina of Time and I couldn't wait for it to be released. My first time playing it, my brother actually rented it at a video store, so we never got really far with the story. It wasn't until a few years later that I got the full exposure into the dark, twisted story that left a huge impression on me. From the characters you meet, the gameplay design, and I still go through the entire game, at least once every couple years. And last but not least, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. So much has already been set up at this game. For me, like many others, this is my introduction to the Legend of Zelda franchise. I remember being blown away on how open this world was and walking out of your house for the first time and going into that first dungeon, the Great Deku Tree. I will always cherish this game and glad it has been ported to the newest console for future generations to enjoy. I hope you enjoyed this list. I hope you enjoyed the games you saw. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.